Hello folks. This is Kilt the Beekeeper and today we're going to do a full inspection along with a Varroa mite check using the alcohol wash test. Okay, so I am already lit my smoker and I'm gonna go ahead and get my jacket on. Just because I don't want to get stung in the face. And no one really wants to get stung in the face. It up. Let's give them a, a quick spurts. One, and then we'll just let it kind of waft on up in there. All right. So we don't want to, you know, disturb them too much. Let's see, do we have a wasp nest today? No. All right, so we're just gonna set that there. Oh, dropping my hive tool. And we're just gonna give it a quick one before we begin. And there's been a lot of activity this week. My guess is that we've probably got uh, some more honey stores today versus last week. All right. Let's just move nice and slow. All right. Take a quick peek. Oh yeah, we're getting more honey in. They are definitely building. Hey, this one's empty. Hey. And this one's empty. We got a ton of propolis here. I'm gonna do a, a full inspection today. Hopefully we'll find the queen. And not too much in the way of cross comb. All right, so let's take a look here. Okay, right, so I've got a whole bunch of nectar being stored back here. Uh, it doesn't look like they've started capping it yet, so it's probably not quite ready. Oh, come on, get out the way. Okay. And number two. Oh yeah, look at all that. Look at all that nectar coming in. And they're starting to cap it. Okay, on to the next one. That's one honey frame. And now as you move along here, you want to make sure that you're moving slow, but not so slow that it's gonna take you forever to get through the hive. Okay. So we got a little bit of drone brood here and we've got some honey going in. Okay. 
Got some drone brood larvae. And let's see if I can get this on camera for you. Okay. So we have larvae that's right up in here. whether you can see that or not okay. but as you can tell we've also got quite a bit well nectar stores here on this one and the bees are being real nice and gentle today at least at this point oh my girls there we go and the reason why I'm taking my time is you move too quickly and they get agitated up up we got one little agitated guy that's uh them a quick just quick spurt in the air kind of hide his fragrance he's not too happy with me being here now this one was also uh, anyways, uh, what I was saying, you want the uh, you want the uh, as you're moving through, you want to make sure that you're moving slow, so that you know you're not creating as much of a fuss. And and then as you also move, you want to as you're pulling one out and setting it off to the side. Try and keep them all together, as closely together as you can. I see yet again more nectar stores. No pollen, but it does look like they're working on a few drone brood. But as you're working, just make sure that you're not crushing bees, not scaring them too much. You don't want to kill any of them. I do see quite a bit of drone brood today, but not not so much that it's concerning, because they should have roughly, you know, twenty percent of this entire hive should be drone brood. But that's really not the case. And so this one's a good example of capped over drone brood you can see the the raisedness of it so let me show you that okay. so here we have some drone brood I'm gonna kind of turn it to the side so you can see now it's kind of raised up it's out away from the the actual comb they build it up and around to allow for the larger size of the drone brood because okay, the drone's going to come out and it's going to be you know not quite two times the size of a regular bee but pretty close hey girls get between the come on there we go nice and slow So now we're getting in to where we had brood previously. And they're starting to get a little agitated. So let me give them a little bit of smoke. I blew on it right there to kind of give them a little bit of smoke there. And we'll just do it right here at the entrance go give them a second to calm down I don't want them to be irritated so at the end of the day they are kings of their own castle okay so this was previously a brood frame 
No, it looks like they're using it for pollen stores. Yeah, which means that this should be the cap of the brood chamber. Now that we're in the brood chamber, we want to kind of proceed a little bit quicker. Let's see here, do we have any, we do have a little bit of capped in here, but it's still mainly pollen stores. So let's, let's put that back in here. And move on to the next frame. I want to find a really good, like filled out brood frame for you. There we go. There's a real good filled out brood frame. Let's see, is the queen on here maybe? Okay, so this is gonna be one that we shake. So let me show you real quick, real quick. We'll just do a quick showing. All right, so this is brood cells. Okay. Notice how they're not quite uh, perked out as far as what a drone brood would be. Okay. And these are your regular worker bees. Okay. These are the ones who are gonna do all your work for you. Drone broods are just a bunch of freeloading men. Just a bunch of freeloading men. Come on, girls, get out the way. There we go, nice and easy. Okay, so we got a few more frames to go here. Hey, got stung on the hand there. All right, so back to the, give this guy a chance to calm down. It's okay, guys. Boy, they really don't want me up in here today. All right, so let's just Up oh, there we go, we got the queen. Let's get her on camera for you. And of course she switches over to the other side. Where'd she go, where'd she go? see her now she's hiding from me but she's on this frame let me see if I can find her again uh, here queen 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 uh, please don't tell me where is she up oh, there she is all right so let's see if we can get it right here. There's the queen. Right there. Moving right there in the center. 
Okay, and she just went in to lay an egg. Yeah. So she's doing her job, doing real well on it. Okay, so we don't want to shake this frame. We know that this is the one with the queen on it, so we're going to put it back right here. And we're just going to And so we're going to go ahead and do our alcohol test here with some nurse bees. And so how can you tell if they're nurse bees or not? Well, the uh, your regular foraging bees can fly. Your nurse bees, however, can't. And so you need roughly about 300 of them to do your test. There we go. That should be enough to do my test. Okay, so now what we need to do is put roughly about a half a cup of bees in here. Let's get our half a cup. So I got approximately 300 beads in here. And we're going to go ahead and close her on up. Go ahead and pour it down so I... Come on, girls. There we go. So now, what we are going to do, we're just going to shake, 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 shake. And shake, 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 shake. I think they said roughly about a minute, 30 seconds, something like that. Let's see here. Zero mic count. Awesome. All right. So we, are, we have got a good clean bill of health here. All right. So let's take these girls and put them back in the hive. And 
we'll just set it right here for the rest of them to go back in. And now we're gonna just uh, close up. Just mask my scent a little bit. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and just close on up this hive. They are a bit agitated, but that's understandable. And we have just invaded their hive. Pulled their queen out, looked at her. Oop. Another one on the hand. Get the smoker going back again. There we go. And I don't use anything special for my smoker. I just use regular dried grass for those who are wondering. We have see if we can come on leave me alone girls I'm just closing up let me out of here <laughs> yeah they're really not too bad I mean Come on, get out of the way. Okay. I think we're just about done here. There we go. Oh, nice and closed up. Now, we are going to do just a quick close up. Go ahead and put our lid back on. Hey, but anyways, this time of year they're going to be a little bit more irritable. Uh, you know, late summer. Mainly because the stores that they have have to last them all the way till winter. Okay, so that looks good. All right. Good. So this video is drawn to the close. Y'all have a great day and live long and prosper.